my parents were immigrants that came uh, to Canada after the war, and uh, the uh, the government of Canada recruited a lot of immigrants for the mining industry, and so a lot of the mining camps like like uh, Malartic. Uh, and Sudbury and various other ones uh, across the country uh, had a lot of immigrant uh, population, Polish, Ukrainian, uh, Lithuanian, all, all of the different, uh, different uh, countries were represented, yeah. And uh, you as a child, because you grew up right, right in the middle of it, essentially. Absolutely, uh, I was born in Malartic and... Uh, in, in mining, essentially. I was born in mining and, uh, and th uh, in those days there was uh, um, uh, some houses that were given to the uh, given to the um, uh, the people that ran the mine. Um, my father, being a mining uh, a, a mining engineer, uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, he uh, he was trained as a civil engineer, but uh, did convert uh, to, to a mining engineer uh, because that's what they needed. So um, we had I was. Uh, born in uh, in a in a house uh, uh, downtown Montreal, uh, Malartic, and moved to uh, uh, a house that now is uh, where a huge open pit is. The uh, Osisco mine is uh, mining the remnants of all of that basin. It's going to be the largest uh, open pit gold mine in Canada, and. Uh, and uh, where I lived uh, is no longer there. They moved the entire town over, and where my house was is is part of the pit. It's almost symbolic. <laughs> it is. It is just uh, there's a lot of symbolism in mining, uh, as you'll see later.